Hey y'all, good morning. We are here with the July Unplugged Book Box, the bibliophile themed one. It's got a good bit of the weight. I am excited to see what's in it because it's all supposed to be themed around, you know, people like us who love books and things about books, collecting them, smelling them, all the things. So we are going to get into it if this is your first time here. Hi, I'm Morgan and thank you for clicking and I'm excited to open this and see what we got because I almost saw a spoiler on Instagram the other day, so now I, I really want to open it. Okay, I'm going to stop bubbling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so there's none of the um, packing peanuts that are the uh, dissolving water packing peanuts like they normally do, or paper. We do have some, like, two of the bubbly things, but otherwise, everything's just kind of in it. And we have our little spoiler QR code here on the top. Really got to... Still did not remember to bring the tablet in here with me to scan it without, so I'll have to go get that. And our first yeah, first thing we have up is Fiction Bath Scrubs Beach Read uh, Green Tea, White Musk, and Sea Salt Handcrafted Body Spray. I put lotion on, so I don't know if I'd be able to smell it. It smells like the musk, I guess. That's the, what we can say it smells like. I guess that's a that's not a beachy smell. I don't think musk is really a beachy smell, but... Okay, here we'll put that down here. Oh, the Midnight Library by Natural Pure Honest. Old Books. Lemongrass Magic. It's a perfume roller. But this one's in plastic. And it, this will have to be tested later, I guess. Because I'm not going to be able to s smell anything now except that stuff I just sprayed on myself. Because I'm a genius. And this lookbook thing. Oh, this looks like it matches. Um, it matches the, uh, the picnic sheet and the. Um, is the diamond painting? Okay, I might have cut out that part because I was loud, but yeah, I'm like halfway through with the diamond painting. Oh, and the blanket. And the blanket. It's super off-centered, though. A room without books is like a body without a soul. And it's got some zipper. It's like a large knit size. Mm -hmm. It's smooth on the inside, but yeah, it's not, it's not a fabric, though. It's just... It's not plastic. I don't know what to say it feels like. It's like the inside of a pocket in your purse, I guess. Yeah. I got big items. I can't display them right on this thing. And now it's gonna fall over. I see. I see the book, but okay. We have a box that says professional, excellent quality. It thinks highly of itself, whatever it is. Cause it's, I believe it's Outlander. It looks like it. It looks like Jamie when his arm was broken. Hmm. It looks like it. And okay, I have to move the book to get to the last items, which are um, what are these called? Bookends. That, those things, yes. That's, that's the word. Ooh, Egyptian looking. It's the possibility, nope. That doesn't look like a Y. But that's the only, it's the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life interesting, but that really doesn't look like a Y. Ooh. Ooh, and they have foam little footies to hold them in place. Nice. Some holes. That's weird. I don't know how to display things right now. 
Well, you can kind of see the big items, all the items. The big ones are like fighting for space and being able to see everything. But I saw our book. Oh, ooh, it comes with a bookmark this month too. It's The Borrow a Bookshop Holiday by Kylie Dunbar. Spend your days talking books with customers in your own charming bookshop and serving up delicious cream teas in a, the Kobe, Cozy Cafe. Oh my god, I can't read. Oh, it's so pretty. It's light foiling and the end paper design. Before the traffic noise, the front and back are the same, and it's got a very light blue ribbon there, and all the end paper, I mean edges are stacks of books. Oh my goodness. And of course it is signed. The Barra Bookshop Bookshop Cafe invites literature lovers to run their very own bookshop for a fortnight. Spend your days talking books with customers in your own charming bookshop and serving up delicious cream teas in the cozy cafe. That's right there in the back. Bookworms, what are you waiting for? Your holiday is going to be literally apply for no apply to the Barra of Bookshop Bookshop Cafe down along Clo Clove Lord Devon. Jude Crawley should be on top of the world. She's just graduated as a mature student, so can finally go public about her relationship with philosophy professor Mac until she sees Mac kissing another girl and her dreams crumble. And worse, their dream holiday running a tiny bookshop in the harbor village of Clove Lore for two weeks is non-refundable. Throwing caution to the wind, Jude heads down to Devon, eager to immerse herself in literature and heal her broken heart. But there's a problem. Six foot tall, brooding, but gorgeous Elliot, who's also reserved the bookshop holiday for two weeks. As Jude and Elliot put their differences aside to run the bookshop, it seems that Jude might be falling in love with more than just words, until she discovers what Elliot is running from and why he's hiding out in Clove Lord. Can Jude find her own happy ending in the, a tiny tumble-down bookshop, or is she about to find out that her bookish holiday might have an unexpected twist in the tale? A bit of a different description than... Well, I guess it was just a teaser description that they gave us before. So interesting. Interesting. Okay, tiny spoiler card time for the July adult spoilers of Bibliophile. Beach Read Body Spray. I mean, it, it did kind of say that. Is it still in frame? I don't know. This exclusive body spray by Fiction Bath Co. is inspired by Emily Henry's Beach Read, a story about two writers trying to craft their next novels side by side, but with plenty of tension, romance, and uncertainty. That one was okay. That one was okay. I, I liked it enough. Um, da, da, da. Midnight Library Perfume Roller. Haven't read that one. Journey to the Midnight Library with this exclusive perfume roller, perfume roller inspired by Matt Haig's novel. Nora mysteriously finds herself in this strange library where she can view all the lives she might have had. This is the perfect novel for any bibliophile who wonders about second chances. It was made by Natural Pure Honest. The library scene book sleeve I'll pull it out because it can't be seen much. <laughs> Keep your novels safe with this zippered book sleeve. Tuck them away in your bag when you're out and about on vacation, taking a day trip, or any time you want extra protection for your books. The artwork was by at Veronica Lexcom. And order it, the Outlander Ceramic Bowl. That's their collectible. This exclusive Outlander inspired bowl is the second in a series of four. It is for the Cafe Unplugged series we're featuring this year, and the artwork is by, also by, uh, Veronica Lexcom. Okay, so I guess all of the, the bowls are going to be Outlander themed. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> and then the Oh, okay, these are The Alchemist bookends. Paul Shallow's modern classic, The Alchemist, follows the journey of Santiago through his travels in Europe, uh, Egypt, oh my gosh, Morgan, where he learns about himself and what life means. The bookends were designed by a typical ghost for this box. And then the book of the month is Borrow Bookshop Holiday. And it shows the original cover versus their cover. I like their cover better. I do. All right. 
do. Okay. And okay, normally it has a link to like the recipes and the journal prompts, but okay, and then the August lots of scrolling involved. The August adult fiction theme is gonna be dark devotion and it's going to have a dystopian sci-fi romance. Also, we are getting two books because we are getting the main book and then the prequel book. So I think that actually came out after. Yeah, because it says prequel to book one. And the fandoms are going to be inspired by the Night Circus, the Adams Family, and some general bookish stuff with more to be announced and a brand new self-care items that they've never done before. So that's always cool. This was all of the July Bibliophile box. I like it. It's so pretty. Some of the items, the smelly good items, we'll see. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, hmm. I don't know. And I can't wait to find time to read the book. No idea when that's going to happen, but I want to. It's cute. It sounds cozy. It sounds fun. You should probably have it read by summer because it's probably a summery book. Or maybe it's a fall book because it's cozy. I don't know. You have to let me know though if you've read the book, what you thought of the items, favorite, least favorite. Mm -hmm. No idea where to put the book in so really. I don't know. I don't know. Problem for a different day. Thank you so much for being here though. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out this one right here with the review of Immortal Longings that just came out. It's a really good book. Spoiler there. <laughs> or the weekly new releases videos. And if you subscribe, you can come back every week to see what books are coming out each week because we do it every Monday and see future reviews, vlogs, and more unboxings. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you're finding something awesome to read today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.